You can order your Godzilla figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here. And welcome to yet another edition of... Figure Fight. Alright, folks. Today we have a hot one for ya. Today it's going to be actually sort of on time. Let's go ahead and move quick on this one. In this corner from New Jersey, the NECA Godzilla 1964. And over here from Japan, we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1964. One of these guys has been on your shelf for quite some time now, a few years. The other is just making it to the store shelves. Which is better? Which should collect dust? The Tale of the Tape series continues. There's a fan poll in the description, and if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, that's right, it's on Facebook as well, there should be something popping up asking you which one you think might be better. All right, three, two, one, let's begin the... Figure Fight. Round one. Sculpt and Paint. Yuji Sakai's 1964 sculpt really shines here with an amazing paint scheme to go inside with it. Those who don't care for its size or anything else, we'll get to those later, have to at least agree the figure looks great. Uh, triangles, come on, get over them. We're talking about the details in the paint here. There's a hazy dome over the eyes. The dorsal plates are sculpted wonderfully with fantastic paint. The claws look great. The figure just captures the look of the 64 suit fantastically, even with them dangly pinkies. The NECA looks great as well, but it does fall short in some areas, like missing accents to show off the pronounced sternum. The claws are white compared to what we see on the Monster Arts, which looks a little nicer. And the details, while good, aren't exactly as crisp or as clean as the SH Monster Arts. While both do it well, the SH Monster Arts does it a little better. Round two. Articulation. Here comes the pain train. Just wait and find out. The SH Monster Arts features a ball-jointed jaw, which mine loves to fall off. In addition, there's some ball joints in the neck. Ball-jointed shoulders swivel in the bicep close to the elbow where there's a hinge, and ball-jointed wrists. Awesome. Ball-jointed ab crunch with ball-jointed hips. Those would be the triangles. And then we have ball-jointed thigh joint, hinged knees, and ball-jointed ankles and toes. But uh, even though there's a couple of joints there, this Godzilla never stands with his feet flat on the ground. Ball-jointed tail, which unfortunately on mine, likes to fall apart of it. Now for the NECA. Hinged jaw with a ball-jointed head-to-neck joint and then a ball-joint neck-to-body with ball-jointed shoulders, swivel hinge elbows and wrists, hinged fingers, ball-jointed ab crunch, ball-jointed hips, swivel hinge knees, ball-jointed ankles, which fully function, and a fully ball-jointed tail. Well, not fully ball-jointed tail. There's no bendy wire. You know, that's how NECA's marketing it. Anyway, now I know what you're thinking. Maybe the SH Monster Arts wins. Well, no. Posing them one-to-one -one here, they pose both just as fluidly. They match evenly. Now here, on one foot. Ooh, evenly matched, right? Noticed how the SH Monster Arts has the tip of the tail off the screen? Yeah, what you're not seeing there? I'm holding it in place. This is essentially a what-if picture. Yeah, gotta hand it to the NECA. It poses a little better. Round three. Accessories. Remember the rules of figure fight. Two figures aiming to take the same spot on your shelf. Not taking the emergence version of the NECA here because it doesn't exist. It's not taking a Rodan and putting it against King Ghidorah. This is Vanilla 1964 versus Vanilla 1964. And the NECA comes with a beam while the SH Monster Arts does not. Yes, the Emergence Monster Arts 1964 Godzilla does, but the normal 
64 Godzilla does not. Because there is at least an accessory for the NECA, it wins. Round four. Price. NECA, $23.99, or thereabouts. Versus the SH Monster Arts, $63.99. No contest. Remember, this is MSRP, not aftermarket. The NECA wins. Round five. Scale. The SH Monster Arts was intended to be in its own relative show a scale, which Bandai soon abandoned. That's right. Bandai intended that the Heisei era would be its own scale, Millennium, whatever they were going to do there, and Showa its own thing. We've had a few Showa releases since this figure released, all of which have not been in scale with this one. It is essentially the runt of the litter. It's so small, even Bandai realized they screwed up and have abandoned this scale. So even though this one kind of works sort of well with the Revel Techs, yep, even Bandai admits its defeat, NECA wins. Final Bell. NECA wins. It's a slobber knocker. Whoa, 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 didn't expect that, did you? In the Patreon preview, I did, eh, didn't really sit back and evaluate it thoroughly enough, but now looking at it a bit harder, yep, the NECA takes it home completely. Let's go ahead and hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Did the ref make any bad calls or miss any punches? Definitely vote in the community polls, and please, comment, 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 comment. Thanks so much to the patrons this month for supporting. It really does help to make sure that the channel can run as smooth as possible, especially with the upcoming changes in January. So, yeah, let's just make sure that everything continues to run as smooth. When you do make this, we'll go around and uh, keep the lights on. Now the end card's going to go ahead and pop up. And if you are on YouTube, there are some stuff and things you can click on. And just in general, there are going to be some short URLs you can go ahead and pop into your web browser and go ahead and follow. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to stick around for the next... Figure Fight!